Hmm? Oh, yes, yes, this is the one. <laughs> he says he would have recognized you anywhere. <sighs> Jane Eyre. I'll have a seat, Harvey. Vita says she wants to talk to us. She said it was important. I think she wants to congratulate us on the impression that we made of her party. My character has a friend named Harvey who happens to be a six foot rabbit who no one can but me can see. So the play kind of goes on about his sister who lives with him and, and her daughter who also lives with him. They kind of want to get rid of the rabbit because he's kind of ruining their lives with like no social life because everyone thinks Elwood's crazy. I'm sorry. Life isn't easy for any of us, but I guess I'll hold my head up and go on just the same. That's what I've been telling Myrtle May, and that's what Myrtle May has been telling me. She's heartbroken about her uncle Elwood. Elwood P. Dowd. That's it. Elwood P. Dowd? His age? 47, the 24th of last April. He's Taurus. Taurus the Bull, I'm Leo, and Myrtle is on a cusp. Um, I kind of develop a crush on Elwood, but I'm also... Uh, emotionally attracted to Dr. Sanderson, so that's kind of the dynamic dynamic that's going on between me and the characters. Miss Kelly tells me you've been concerned about your brother. Doubt is it? Hell would be doubt. Yes, Doctor. He's. This isn't easy for me, Doctor. Well, come on, Harvey. We must say hello to all our other guests. Uh, if you'll excuse me, Ethel. What? You're standing in his way. Go on in, Harvey. Uh And then, this afternoon, with Miss Chapelet there, we didn't even know about Harvey until we came back here. Now, don't you think it would have been kinder for us to have freaking tours about Harvey? Be honest now, don't you? I, I, I really couldn't answer that question, Mrs. Simmons. Well, I can. Yes, it certainly would have been.